I think we need, do need to revisit that report because, and we do which, need which to, part of it? Well, I just think it's about preparedness and resilience. Mm, we, we but need, he we, made some very specific recommendations that yeah. haven't been acted on. Do you know what they are? Well, I know, I mean, he was talking about preparedness and mm. resilience, and I do think that we need to act, not necessarily yes, on every but, specific recommendation. But, but, but you re remember the report came out only in October 2016. The, the mayor, the newly elected mayor, commissioned... I mean, I think, and, uh, again, and, the inevitable question comes up, sounds an expensive business, this. How are you going to do that? How are you going to achieve it? We have a fully costed manifesto and and it was put and it, it has been looked at and the, the, the figures are simply there. And I'm sorry, I slightly last minute my coming in here, but I, I appreciate that. Them. Absolutely. <laughs> OK, well, perhaps we could try and find those figures yeah, between right. now and 10.30. So maybe somebody listening from the Labour Party can get onto that. Um, Emily has found the figures. Emily. <laughs> sorry about this. I've uh, I found at the bottom of my handbag a <laughs> brief... <laughs> We have, um, Emily, do rush. I'm not rushing. Well, I am rushing you. Get the figures out there. OK, so what I've got is hundreds of thousands of women have had their retirement plans scuppered by the Tories, speeding up the increases to the state pension without adequate notice. To tackle this injustice, Labour will extend pension credit to help those who are due to retire before the court Tories' chaotic changes. Do you know the number of net losses so far for Labour? At the time of us doing this interview, I think the net losses are about 50. Uh, there are actually 125 net losses so far. Well, the last time I looked, we had net losses of 100, but obviously this is a moving picture.